Hi, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. This video will explain about three kaila under Kingdom Animalia, which are Platyhon mentes, Nematoda and Annelida. Let's look at phylum Platyhon mentes. From this diagram, it shows um, uh, the observable characteristic that is that differentiates platyhel mentes from, from other kinds of worms. So they appear flat. Eh? That is the most distinguished characters. That's why platyhel mentes is also known as flatworms. Dorsal ventrally flattened body. Dorsal and ventral. Jadi dia punya pipih dia tu uh, tak nampak badan yang tebal lah. Eh? Bod, uh, flatten body to place the cells close to the surrounding. They have unsegmented body. In terms of mode of nutrition, they are heterotroph, but most are parasites, meaning that they obtain nutrients from another organisms. They also they are also scavengers that eat or prey on another organ, uh, organisms scavengers and predators eh? um, sorry scavengers that eats on that organism or predators prey on uh, another living organism in terms of body plan they are triploblastic meaning that they have three gem layers they are acetylomates meaning that do not have body cavity Bilateral symmetry with moderate cephalization. So this is the explanation that we need to uh, give further to explain about um, body plan of platyhelminthes. Okay, so they actually have sorry, uh, they actually have bilateral symmetry with moderate cephalization. Ni uh, kita masuk kepada body plan triploblastic. Okay. With moderate cephalization, is actually under triploblastic or the presence of three germ layers. Um, hermaphrodite meaning that they can produce uh, sperm and eggs. But, bear in mind, they cannot fertilize uh, themselves. Being hermaphrodites mean, they, uh, at one time, they are female, so they produce eggs. Um, the female from uh, the female platyhelminthes will need uh, sperm from a male platyhelminthes. Um, then, in another season, if it seems uh, uh, it seems uh, suitable or unsuitable, uh, the, the the environment is not suitable, the platyhelminthes uh, might change their uh, their gender eh, becomes uh, female becomes male and then produce sperm. So they can change their gender. That that's that means by being hermaphrodite. It doesn't mean that hermaphrodite because they can produce sperm and eggs, but it the sperm and eggs are not produced at the same time. Eh, at the same time, has gastrovascular cavity. Uh, maksudnya dia ada laluan untuk makanan. But the gastrovascular cavity only have one opening, which is the mouth that act also as the anus. Protonephridia as excretory organ that act this as similar as our uh, excretion system like the kidney. They have network of tubules with ciliated structures called flame bulb. Platyhelminthes has simple nervous system. They has nervous system, but the system is very simple. They lack of circulatory system. The body muscle cannot be contracted and locomotion only by swimming. 
Uh, maksudnya dia ada otot tetapi otot dia tak macam kita nak bergerak ada uh, ada yang kecut ada yang kendu uh, relax and contract no dia dia masa cannot be contracted so they move my means of swimming okey tak macam cacing tanah lah cacing tanah kan dia boleh contract uh, jadi dia bergerak macam mana cacing tanah bergerak kan uh, um, planaria or platelmintus uh, they cannot they cannot contract the muscles they have simple digestive tract have mouth but no anus this is an example of platelmintus the scientific name is tenia species which live as a parasite in another living organism such as a uh, pig or human or even human so kita kenal dia sebagai cacing pita lah tape worm so they can live in the human body or any animal's body because of the presence of the hook that can anchor them in the digestive tract and they have a sucker that can absorb the nutrients from the host. Okay, enough about platyhelminthes, a flatworm. Now we are going to learn about another type of worm which is under phylum Nematoda or also known as Nematodes. Nematoda mostly can be found in aquatic environment, in wet soil, in body fluids and tissues of animals. They live as a parasite. The example of worms under Nematoda is roundworm or, or, or named as Ascaris species. Ascaris lumbricoides to be specific. Eh? Cacing, cacing gelang, cacing kerawit. Eh? Yang banyak boleh jumpa dalam perut kita lah. Their shape is cylindrical with tapered posterior. Tapered maksudnya hujung dia runcing. And blunt anterior. Blunt anterior ni. Anterior eh. Anterior kepala. Biasanya kepala lah. Blunt. This is tapered. So actually if we want to identify which parts of the um, nematoda is the anterior and the posterior by looking at the, uh, at the shape, shape of the end. The anterior end shows cephalization. Uh, so remember the platinal mentors with moderate cephalization. Jadi cephalization ni apa? Cephalization ni dia dah ada organ struktur yang dipanggil uh, bentuk macam kepala ataupun otak lah. Eh, dia dah ada, ada bahagian tu. So, untuk platinal mentors, moderate cephalization maknanya dia dah, dah ada nak terbentuk kepala tetapi uh, tidak, se, tidak, tidak, orang kata tidak sempurna ataupun tidak lengkap. Untuk for nematoda, the anterior end shows cephalization. Dia dah ada dah struktur nervous system yang ada hujung dekat, dekat hujung ni. Uh, macam otak kan? Uh, dia dah ada. Dia dah ada, dah ada uh, bertumpu kepada satu tempat dia punya nerve system dia tu. Tetapi no distinct head. Jadi dia tak ada. Kalau distinct head ni maknanya ada satu bentuk ni untuk bentuk kepala. No distinct head. The modes of nutrition for nematoda is as parasite. Eh? Nematoda are tri triploblastic, meaning that they have three germ layers, bilateral symmetry, and they are pseudocoelomate. They are body cavity almost like a true body cavity a true coelom but it is not the it is not exactly a complete coelom true coelom so the pseudo coelom fluid serves as the blood vascular system nematoda has unsegmented body tak ada segmentation tak ada segment So this is the difference between sila uh, acylomate, no silum. So the ectoderm, the mesoderm, and the endoderm. There, there is no silum. There is no body cavity. In silomate, uh, in silomate animals, uh, D 
this is the part where we call it as coelom because this coelom is surrounded by the red the red uh, layers the red layers is the mesoderm okay fully surrounded by mesoderm meanwhile in pseudocoelomate the body cavity here are lined by mesoderm and endoderm okay the, the this area is lined by endoderm this area is lined by mesoderm so it is not the body cavity is not fully lined by mesoderm so it is not considered as a true coelom the body uh, body uh, the body of nematoda are covered by tough cuticles that's why they can survive the digestive tracts they have only longitudinal muscle longitudinal maksudnya ja, otot jalur dia otot dia uh, dia memanjang eh sepanjang sepanjang uh, badan dia along the body from the uh, mouth or from the cephal uh, from the head to the from the anterior to the posterior absence of seta setae Okay, setae. Ya, nanti setae ni dia macam bulu-bulu kalau pada dalam paramecium. Struktur ni kita panggil silia tapi bagi cacing ada dia punya, ada dia punya struktur dia seperti silia tapi kita panggil dia setae. Absence of clitellum, it will be explained in Annelida because Annelida has clitellum. They has hydrostatic skeleton. Uh, hydrostatic skeleton maksudnya rangka dalam badan dia adalah dipengaruhi oleh kehadiran cecair fluid eh so dia ada uh, dia movement dia um, dia dia movement mostly uh, uh, supported by hydrostatic skeleton they have complete digestive tract with a presence uh, of mouth and anus so it has a structure that called mouth and anus complete digestive tract this is a cross section see this is the endoderm the intestine and this is what we call as the coelom nematoda usually reproduce sexually they have separate male and female in most species and the size of female is usually larger than male they perform internal fertilization. Okay, nematoda, uh, the importance of nematodes, they can cause brugia, uh, sorry, they can cause elephantiasis. The species is called brugia malayi. They cause elephantiasis, ni, the swall, swelling of a lymphoid. Eh? Menyebabkan kita punya limb kita swollen. Brugia malayi uh, is the elephantiasis causing agent that cause enlargement of arms, legs or genitals. Long roundworm block the host lymphatic system. Maknanya bila dah bengkak macam ni, maknanya dia ada duduk dekat lymphatic system kita. So bila dia duduk dekat lymphatic system, menyebabkan bengkak and uh, further uh, swell, 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 uh, swelling of our lymph occurs. So the lymphatic fluid will be accumulated in the tissues, leads to great swelling of limbs. Lymph ni kaki tangan tu, right? Okay, now let's look at pilum annelida, the third worm under kingdom animalia. So as you can see, when we discuss about the unique characteristics of these three types of worms, we can see that how they grow or becomes more advanced um, from palatial lumpus to nematoda and to annelida. Uh, for example, the presence of the body cavity. Uh, in platinum mentis, there is no body cavity, but in nematoda, the body cavity is um, is present, but it's, it is not considered as a true coelom. And while in annelida, uh, you can see later that the coelom is already a true coelom. So uh, you can compare and contrast between these three types of these three phyla. So you can see the evolutionary relationship. Annelida lives as detritivores, meaning that they eat on 
uh, detritus, the dead organic matter such as dead um, dead organism, carcass, uh, macam kita dah mati nanti uh, akan dimakan cacing. Okay, um, lepas tu um, kayu-kayu yang mati. Then uh, they can be, they can also become a parasite, a scavengers, and also predators. For example, the leech. Leech feed on, uh, suck our blood. Eh? Uh, elongated, uh, they have a, an elongated body with tapered end, body yang uh, panjang dan juga runcing hujungnya. The, their anterior ends show cephalization, but with no distinct head. This is almost similar to nematode. Annelida bodies are covered by cuticle. They also has hydrostatic skeleton, similar with nematoda. Their body plan uh, differ from nematoda in terms of body cavity. So annelida also triploblastic. They have bilateral symmetry, and they are also coelomic. Presence of true coelom. Another characteristic that makes Annelida uh, classified differently from Nematoda is by having body segmentation. As you can see here, Annelida, they have the metameric body segmentation. Metameric means repetition of organ and tissue within each segment except for the head. If you look closely at the uh, Annelida, the earthworm for example, earthworm, they have, okay, this is the anterior and then their body are like, um, they, they are not, uh, we call it, um, smooth, something, eh, they are eh, like rings, rings lah, ring like body. So these are one segment and each segment consists of the same organ. So their organs are repetitive, the same organ. That is what we call as metameric. Each segment is se separated by septum. They have digestive tract, nerve cords and blood vessels that penetrate the septum and run the animal's length. Jadi sepanjang ni akan ada digestive tract nerve cords, blood vessel in the middle, biasanya kita akan nampak satu struktur ok, apa dia tu they have complete elementary canal which consists of digestive tract that straight come from mouth to anus and their digestive system consists of pharynx, esophagus Crop gizzard and intestines. They also have excretory system and has nephrostome to remove waste. Jadi yang nak ingat ialah tentang Annelida ni dia ada excretory system, complete alimentary canal, metameric segmentation that makes them different from another type of worms. Annelida has two sets of muscle. Nampak beza dengan nematoda tadi. Nematoda can uh, only has longitudinal muscle. While annelida dia ada both. Circular muscle dengan longitudinal muscle. Jadi kalau sepanjang badan dia, dia ada muscle begini dan ada muscle circular. Sebab tu bila pergerakan, boleh tengok cacing tanah. Pergerakan dia macam mana? So the alternation between contraction and dilatation, dilation, uh, contraction and dilation, relaxation lah macam tu eh. Contraction and dilation to perform various locomotion. So dia boleh twist, cacing, macam cacing tanah eh. Dia boleh twist, dia boleh panjat, dia boleh lengkar. And then dia have closed circulatory system with hemoglobin in red blood cell. Oh, dah ada almost similar tu. Homo sapien eh. Dorsal and ventral vessels are connected to the pairs of segmental vessels. Pairs of heart circle the esophagus. Ada jantung. Numerous tiny vessels in the skin for gases exchange.
Dehes kitina seta Sete eh? Fruit tu macam mm, Macam silium Dalam paramecium Tapi dia wujud pada analinda Dan lebih keras sebab dia berkitin Lebih keras eh Bud absent in leech uh, Pacat uh, linta Pacat uh, linta Linta licin je kan dia tak ada Their respiratory system via skin eh, respiration via skin, so they need a wet skin. They have simple nervous system, a pair of cerebral ganglia lie above and in front of the pharynx. A ring of nerves around the pharynx connects to the subpharyngeal ganglia. Okay, ni nak ingat ni je, nervous system dah ada tapi simple. Anelida are hermaphrodite, usually undergo sexual reproduction. Uh, dalam kurungan ni, cross fertilization meaning they cannot self self fertilize themselves. Dia yeah, perlu um, uh, dengan uh, perlu ada pasangan ya. Eh. The clitellum ni parts ni yang biasa nampak tebal sikit secret a mucus cocoon that carries the egg to mate with sperm, so that fertilization can take place. Benefits of Analida In medical, use as anticoagulant Contohnya leech lah Lintar Because leech is used in bloodletting Bloodletting ni uh, the, uh, the, the the Contra with blood clotting So we do not We want to prevent blood clot We uh, we let the blood To uh, bloodlet eh? <laughs> Bloodletting Maksudnya nak cairkan lah because leech secretes anticoagulant uh, such as hirudin sebab apa leech ni dia duduk dalam kelas hirudine jadi dia punya enzim dia tu yang anticoagulant ni dipanggil hirudin so um, it prevent blood clotting and dissolves blood clots it can help in bruise treatment eh? treatment for bruised tissues to stimulate blood circulation in affected area. Analida are important in agriculture, which helps, uh, for example, the earthworm helps in soil aeration or drainage by burrowing. Sebab tu bila tanah yang ada cacing ni, dia lebih subur. Uh, tumbuh, dia punya tumbuh-tumbuhan dia lebih segar sebab ada pengudaraan sendiri dalam tanah tu. So, pengudaraan ni penting untuk siapa? Sebenarnya bukan untuk tumbuhan. Tapi untuk organisma yang bersimbiosis. Bersimbiosis dengan akar tu. Pokok tu. It increase fertility. Sebab apa increase fertility? Sebab sambil dia burrowing. Dia mengurik tanah tu. Dia ah, makan juga kan? So, dia makan dia ada najis dia. Ah, dia ada najis dia. So, najis ni yang akan increase fertility soil. As you can see in the table, the comparison between the three phyla of uh, worms, Platyhelminthes, Nematode and Analida. In terms of comparison, we can see that they have similarities. All of the uh, three phyla, of, uh, all of these three phyla are triploblastic animals. And uh, the animals are bilat have bilateral symmetry. But in terms of body cavity platyhelminthes are acilomate nematode pseudocilomate annelida silomate unsegmented body for platyhelminthes ni uh, segmentation eh body plan segmentation nematodes have unsegmented body while annelida presence of segmented body which is called metameric Platyhelminthes are flattened, has flattened body. Nematode has elongated body with pointed ends. And the lida elongated body. Sebenarnya with pointed ends juga kan. But with moderate cephalization for nematoda. No cephalization uh, for platyhelminthes. And um, simple slope cephalization for analida.
Platelmintes has incomplete digestive tract which consists of only mouth uh, but that, that uh, but no anus so the mouth also function as anus nematode have complete digestive tract with mouth and anus same with annelida in terms of reproduction platelmintes are hermaphrodite nematode have separate sexes so we can we can actually uh, find a male or female male and female nematode while annelida they are hermaphrodites which means that they can produce sperm and egg